Moving forwards, after setting up the hardware elements of the Elite Specialist and Club Elite kits, there are just a couple of little bits of configuration that we need to do on the laptop to get it all up and running. So we have all the camera, all the hardware set up. We have the Ethernet cable plugged in to our adapter and then that is plugged into a USB port on our laptop. Now the first time you set this up on a laptop you have to do the following configuration change that I'm about to show. After you've done that once you then don't need to do it again. Okay so you'd only need to do it if you move laptops so you've got a new laptop the next season etc. So to do this if you go down to the search bar and then type in the word network you'll see network status. That's the one we need to click to open. From there, if we just scroll down a little bit, under advanced network settings, change adapter options. Now with all this, I appreciate if you're not IT savvy or techie at all, it can look a little bit intimidating. Please don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through exactly what you need to do. So you just need to follow the instructions and not necessarily worry about why we do that. If you do have questions about why, then please contact us, um, but otherwise just follow these instructions to the letter. We aren't plugging the ethernet cable directly into the ethernet port, this one here, because we'd like to leave that free for anyone who wants to hardwire to their Wi-Fi network. Therefore, that is why we put the adapter in the kit. So down here you can see TP-Link is the brand of the adapter, so it's this one here, Ethernet 2. Now it's currently identifying because we've not yet configured. So identifying dot dot dot. By right clicking and then clicking properties, that will open up this little pop-up box. From there, if you single click on Internet Protocol version 4, and then again single click on this properties button, most of you are going to be greeted with a little pop-up like this. Now, all we're going to do here is change it from a dynamic IP address, so where it searches for it, to a static one. So again, don't worry too much about that. What you'll need to do is click that little radio button there. Use the following IP address. Now, for anyone who's given a camera with an IP address of 10.1.1. something, so .50, 80, 100, then you will all type into this box 10.1.1 dot 10 okay so please note not the IP address of the camera it's everyone is going to be putting in 10.1.1.10 not the IP address of your camera which could be 10.1.1.172 for example okay again I'm not going to go into why if you're interested give me a message but for now do that and it should hopefully work from there if you then press the tab button on your keyboard it will go down to this subnet mask now in here we need to put in 255.255.255.0 like so okay once you've done that click OK now if you're not sure if that's saved you can always just single click single click and then that would open it up again and just prove to you that what you've put in there has saved so we'll click OK we'll click close and then you can see here this Ethernet port has now changed from identifying to it's recognized there is an unidentified network there so that's good we're going to close this down now please note once we've done that once you won't need to do it again so once we've done that we're then going to open up pieces pro and i'm just going to log in so log in with your username i'm just going to update my database quickly good practice Okay, so what I'm going to do is just open a dummy game. So I'm just going to see what I've got stored locally. Uh, so this is one that I just do little bits of testing in. So I'm just going to open that as local scorer for now. Again, most of you should be familiar with PCS Pro. So um, open it in the relevant way for you if you're a live scorer, analyst, support scorer, etc, etc. Now, from there, you'll need to ensure you have the video display showing on your layout. So if you haven't got that, so for example, if you have a scoring view, you can add the video display in by going to view, 
video and then video display okay so you'll need to ensure you have video display on your screen to set this up to start with as you can see the video is not being configured so you can click add capture device now you can see here that little pop-ups appeared but if it didn't where you're going is to configuration and then video capture from there make sure your video capture is enabled and then the manual way of also getting here is under video capture devices add capture device you'll see here on the left hand side there are various device types the one we're after is IP camera now if we move over here to the connection details of the IP camera the easiest way for this to work is just for you to click this search button and then with a bit of luck the software will automatically pick up the camera um, under the guise of the IP address as so so here you can see that the brand of the camera is a Hikvision camera and it tells you the model number as well um, and its IP address is 10.1.1.30 um, you would have that emailed through to you in the initial setup information so you can select this and then you can pop in the username and password which will also be emailed to you so your username is camkit and then I'll leave the password for you to find from the original email and then you can hit login you're then greeted with three options mainstream substream or third stream so these are the different resolutions now 1080p would be your best quality picture from the camera however please note that would put most strain on the laptop so if you've got a really powerful laptop and also really good at internet more it will require more bandwidth to be uploaded as a live stream then please go ahead and choose the mainstream if you're struggling on either of those aspects so your Wi-Fi your internet is a bit flaky choose 480 if you feel like you just want to start in the middle then pick 720 okay entirely up to you which one you want to go for you're going to click add you're going to click OK and then OK again from there the video display will then say starting video and then give it a couple of seconds and you'll see there that your video feed will appear from here what you can do is if you click this cog you can then click show IP camera controls this is then going to allow you to steer the camera from the comfort of your computer chair and your laptop so that will appear you can click connect and then from there you can steer your camera zoom it in zoom it out down okay and then focus obviously on the action if I go back and it doesn't automatically find your camera okay so sometimes if you're on a bit of a flaky network um, there'll be issues with it and the camera is there though you can manually add it in so let's just assume that we click search and there's nothing in this box so two things either pieces pro hasn't picked it up automatically or the camera's not there so if we assume that that box is empty what you can do is automatically or sorry manually rather type in the details and add it that way now the address to type in and I'll note this down um, in the document in the supporting documents as well so you can find it from there but lowercase is RTSP colon forward slash forward slash then your IP address so the IP address of this camera is 10.1.1.30 if your IP address was 10.1.1.1 170 you would put that in there instead okay but apart from that everything else would be the same from there colon 554 forward slash capital s streaming forward slash capital c channels forward slash one pop in your username and your password click ok and ok and again give the video display a couple of seconds and that will then load it manually all right so there's two options there obviously 
If Pieces Pro finds it automatically, then that's a lot easier, a lot quicker. If it doesn't, for various network related possible reasons, then you can manually add it in there. If you're struggling and you still can't get a picture, then there'll be further additional videos posted which give a few basic troubleshooting tips to try um, before you contact support. All right, but hopefully that will show you how to get your video feed into your laptop and then into PCS Pro. Any questions, please give us a shout.